respected elders and my dear sisters and brothers, one of the greatest bounties, ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our life is parents, al-walidayn. We have so many gifts and bounties and ni'am in our life. Allah the Almighty said, if you start counting, you can never finish the count. You can never finish the count. Out of those beautiful bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our parents. A non-replaceable gift. You cannot replace your parents. You can replace many things in life, but you cannot really replace your parents, al-walidayn. They are one pair and one time only, and once they're gone, finish. No way restoring or getting the parents back. And therefore, Quran is very clear when it comes to the right of parents. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّا That Allah has decided for you to not worship anything beside Him. Don't worship anything apart from Allah. Don't worship objects, things, human beings, cows, monkeys. Don't worship anything. But only worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And be good to your parents. Be kind. Be compassionate. Be merciful. Be nice to your parents. Ihsan. وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Be good to your parents while they're alive. And then, Prophet ﷺ also said in a famous hadith, that, يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ أَيُّ الْعَمَلِ أَفْضَلُ a Sahabi asked, O Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which deed is the best deed? Ayyul Amali Afdal. Qala as salah Prophet Sallam said, Prayer. Salah. Then he says, Thumma ay. Then Prophet Sallam said, Birrul Walidayn. Be good to your parents. Be kind to your parents. Be nice to your parents. Speak to them kindly, nicely, beautifully. Serve them, take care of them. بِرُّ الْوَالِدَيْنِ كَيْلَ ثُمَّ أَيْ And then he was asked, Then what after, O Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, الْجِهَادُ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ Striving in the path of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Another verse, وَعْبُدُ اللَّهِ Worship Allah. We have been created for nothing but to worship Allah. So listen to the commandments of Allah. Abide by His commandments and stay away and refrain from His prohibition. وَاعْبُدُوا اللَّهِ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا And don't associate partnership with Allah. Don't worship anything else apart from Allah. So you can imagine the concept of respecting and loving and kind, being kind to parents is straight after Tawheed. After the rights of Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa you find the rights of parents. Even if they're non-Muslims. Even if your parents are non-Muslims, if you have become Muslim and parents still remained non-Muslims, then you still have to be good and nice to your parents, obliged by Al-Islam that we be good to our parents. So, and don't associate partnership with Allah. And be kind and beautiful and nice to your parents. Another hadith, Prophet Sallallahu also speaking about the importance of being good to parents. He says, أَلَا أُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِأَكْبَرِ الْكَبَائِرِ Shouldn't I inform you about the worst deeds, the major sins, the, the dangerous sins, severe sins, sinful activities? أَلَا أُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِأَكْبَرِ الْكَبَائِرِ The major sins. كَرَّرَهَا ثَلَاثًا He said three times, thrice he mentioned, three times. قَالُوا بَلَا يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ Sahaba companions said, Yes, O Messenger of Allah, please go ahead. قَالَ الْإِشْرَاقْ بِاللَّهِ Number one is shirk, associating partnership with Allah. Allah doesn't love associating partnership with Him. Of course, we understand that shirk is a very dangerous sin. There is no greater sin than shirk. But also saying anything and everything is shirk is also another dangerous thing. Like some of us, we hasten and we rush to say, fi hukum al ashya. We judge things very quickly and we keep on giving, um, uh, we keep on labeling things as shirk 
And if they're not shirk, then you have to understand, you, are, you have to be very careful because you are sending those people to Jahannam, the fire fell. So we have to be careful before we say what is shirk and what is not shirk. Just to a bid'ah, innovation is a sinful activity and it's dangerous. It can soon lead to Jahannam. The bid'ah can lead to the fire of hell. But also labeling and saying something as bid'ah very quickly is dangerous. Because if this is not bid'ah, then you are saying that person will go to Jahannam. And you're giving a very, very dangerous title, label. So we as Muslims and our scholars of Islam, historically and traditionally, they were very careful to say those words like shirk and kufr and also the bid'ah, because if this is not bid'ah, then you are calling directly someone a people of Jahannam. And as I said, just the way we have to be careful about shirk and about bid'ah, also have to be careful you know, on how we label and how we frame and tell people about shirk and bid'ah. Um, so then he said, Al Ishraku Billah, wa uqukul walidain. And then he said, the major sin is also being bad, being nasty, being rude, and violating the rights of parents. And he was lying down, fajalas, and sat, he sat down. Then he said, Be aware, also the false witness is part of the major sins. How many people give false witnesses nowadays? Family members, no justice, no fairness. People say things and people witness, give false witnesses in courts, on family level, on personal level. We see people give wrong shahada zur, kadib, fi shahada. And nasi kadibun fi shahada. And people give wrong and false um, witnesses. Dangerous things that happen on a regular basis in our life. Prophet is saying part of the major sins. But one of the things he mentioned is being bad to parents. Hadith also very clear. Prophet said, Rida Rabbi. You want to make Allah happy? Pleasure of your Lord in the pleasure of your parents. And the anger and wrath of your par uh, of, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in angering and making your parents unhappy. I understand that we may have difficult parents at times. Sometimes we can be tested through parents, isn't it? We are tested in many different ways. At times we are tested through our parents. We can have difficult parents. Not everything they may listen or not everything that they may tell us can be very easy to implement and do. But I say we have to be patient as much as we can. A sabr. If you're tested through parents, then be patient. And sometimes we, th we think we know more than our parents. Because as young, young um, children, teenagers and young and youth, we think we know more. But actually a lot of time it proves that our parents are correct. Because they have more knowledge and more experience and they live more in this world. And therefore they have more experience and tajriba and them aktar tajriba fi hayatihim. Fabitali ahiyana nara anahum sawab. They are the correct. So not always we are right just because we live in a modern and the new time. At times our parents can be correct. But yes, we have difficult parents and we have to be have patience, sabr. If we do have difficult parents, we have to, be, we have to do sabr and at the same time try and do and do your best level best as much as you can i know there are parents the more you do no matter how much you do they still complain they say you have never done anything for me at that point you do whatever you can in your capacity and be patient now the way we can be good to our parents visit them if they're local visit them as frequently as possible of course by creating a balance between your wife and your and your mother and parents and don't let others to distract and stop you from visiting your parents. Sometimes our partners can be difficult for us if we visit our parents. We have to make things easy for our spouses. Husband must make things easy for the wives and wives must make it easy for husbands so that they can go and see and visit their parents and fulfill their rights. Take care of your parents. Make the cup of tea. You know, get, serve them. Khidma, khidmatul parents. Khidmatul walidayn. Part of the birul walidayn. Serve them as much as you can. Listen to them and, and try and fulfill and implement their wishes. When you go out, even though you may be very old, mature, tell salam to them. Seek permission if you're young. You know, I'm going out. Seek permission. Even min al They'll be happy. And this is important. And when you come back from outside, even though you may be old and adult, still see your parent first. 
If they're in the room, say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Then go to your room. This is part of the burial. They will be happy with that. And I know people who are successful, some of the most successful people in this world who were good and nice and kind with their parents and they always sought dua from their walidayn and also from the grandfather and grandmother, from the grandparents. So give them salam when you come back and also seek permission when you leave. Also, if they're abroad, if they're, for example, outside the country, give them a call every, every now and then, every, as frequent as possible. Sometimes we can speak with our friends for hours and hours with other people. But when parents call, we, we don't have time. We don't even have time for a few minutes to speak to them. That's wrong, my brothers. One day we'll become parents as well. And then at that time, we'll feel how they are feeling today. And if we don't listen to our parents today, and if we disobey them, and if we violate their wishes and go against their wishes, then one day we may have to suffer the same way. What goes around comes around. Kama tadinu tudan. In Arabic, English people say, what goes around comes around. So if we don't listen to our parents today, one day it can happen to us that our children won't listen to us. So, brothers and sisters, we have to value, appreciate, and take care of our parents. Because once they're gone, then they've gone. Many of us, we wake up. We wake up. But after they've gone, so say, oh, if only my father was alive today. You know, uh, my father and my mother, what they said, this was good things. You know, there was the right thing. They were the right. And today we regret because we lost them. So people wake up when the parents have lost. They've lost their parents. So really, we have to wake up and do whatever we can for our parents. If they have passed away, fulfill their wishes. If they are correct and jaiz and permissible. You know, what they said, for example, the nasaya, the counseling, the advice, the reminder, what they wanted, keep in touch with their friends, you know, their, their relatives and their friends, keep in touch with them. This is also part of the birul walidin after they pass away. Make dua for them, give charity on their behalf, sadaqa jariya, sadaqa, give a charity on their behalf. These are the things we can do on behalf of our deceased, our deceased one, and especially on behalf of our parents. So... All of us, inshallah, me and every one of us here, if we have our parents alive, we'll be good to them. We'll make them phone call, give send money if they're abroad as, uh, you know, as much as possible, of course, with the balance, with you know, your family and, and parents. You know, look after them, give them a call, say kind words. And minimum thing I would say, brothers and sisters, don't harm them. Don't hurt their feelings. You may not be able to do so much. You may not be able to do khidmah, serving them, taking care of them. You may not be able to appreciate their contribution in your life, but at least don't hurt their feelings. لا تؤذيهم. Don't harm them and hurt their feelings. شعورهم. This is the minimum thing we can do as part of the birrul walidain. And I understand sometimes they can be difficult, but we see people are violent against their parents. We see people raise their hands on their parents. And of course, shouting and screaming is quite normal. And Allah said in the Noble Quran, وَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفْ don't even try to say the word uf to them. Wala tanharhuma and don't repel them. Wakullahuma kawalan karima. Rather tell them the kind words. So here Islam is a religion which gives so much importance to the right of parents after Allah and His Messenger and Sahaba radiallahu anhum, the right of parents, and we have to be good and kind in the best possible manner. Sometimes some parents they may not want money, they may want attention. Other parents, they want, for example, some time, a bit of time. Other parents, they want... So you have to see what the parents really want and go accordingly. As long as they're halal and permissible way, do that, inshallah. Because different people become happy with different way. And the most important thing, we keep them happy and we ask dua from them. Because the best people who can make dua for us in this world, we can ask dua from ulama, mashayikh, you know, the, the, the pious people. But the best dua is the dua of parents, dua of walidayn. We have to understand that. And that's the real thing. And if you lost if you've lost them, then you have lost the biggest thing and the biggest asset. Wa jazakumullah khairan. Thank you so much for listening attentively. Uh, inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all of us tawfiq and ability to do, inshallah, starting from the month of Ramadan. I'm sure many of us were doing, but if we couldn't, then inshallah, let's start from the month of Ramadan and continue to do, inshallah, until the end. Wa hayyakum Allah, wa shukran ala husn istima'akum, wa hudurikum. Rabbana zalamna anfusana, wa illam taghfir lana, wa tarhamna lana kunanna minal khasirin. Rabbi ghfir warham, wa anta khayrul rahimin. 
اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما اللهم يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث برحمتك نستغيث برحمتك نستغيث أصلح لنا شؤوننا كلها ولا تكلنا إلى أنفسنا طرفة عين ربنا عليك توكلنا وإليك أنبنا وإليك المصير اللهم ألف بين قلوبنا وأصلح ذات بيننا واشف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين وارحم موتانا وموت المسلمين اللهم انصر إخواننا المسلمين المظلومين المستضعفين في مشارق الأرض ومغاربها اللهم انصر إخواننا المسلمين في كل مكان حرر أراضينا من أيدي المستعمرين مرين المحتلين خاصة المسجد الأقصى المبارك يا إله الكون يا رب العالمين اللهم تقبل منا صلاتنا وصيامنا وقيامنا وركوعنا وسجودنا كما تقبلت من قبول حسن يا أرحم الراحمين آمنا في أوطاننا اللهم اهدنا واهد بنا وجعلنا سببا لمن اهتدى اللهم ثبت اللهم يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك ثبت قلوبنا على دينك اللهم آت نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين آمين